Good morning, good morning, happy Saturday. My name is Aretha and I eat low carb, high fat. I eat carnivore, I eat keto and all that in between. So welcome to my journey. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up. Hello, hello. Um, as usual, I am starting off with a cup of coffee. It is Saturday morning. I did do some prepping on Friday for um, cooking for the week. And um, I'm going to drink this coffee down and we're going to get right into it because I do have a few leftovers from this week I want to finish up and before rolling into the next week. Um, I've been doing a lot of breakfast casseroles, so I'm thinking this week I might do try to do some type of a frittata or something using pork rinds. Um, if that turns into a bust, you probably won't see that. You will see another breakfast casserole. So I'm going to get started. Um, like I said, we've got leftovers. I'm going to try to eat some of that for my breakfast and start rolling along. I'm going to be back. Okay, I am back and here is what I have for my first meal. My breakfast casserole, I have one and a half pieces. I am going to eat this down and then we're going to um, start with our meal prep. Okay, it is Friday evening and you know that it starts the food prep. So what we have here in this baggie, I have seasoned up some... Um, beef um, cubes we have some turkey sausage and this is something I haven't had in quite some time pork chops and we got bacon and some ground beef and of course there's eggs but I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do with the eggs yet so let's get this party going Okay, for the ground beef, I think we're just going to go for, either we're going to make some enchiladas or it's going to be an enchilada casserole. It depends on how well we can wrap these egg thins. So, here they are. So, it depends on how well they can wrap. And the mackerels aren't bad. It's zero carbs. Um, it's cauliflower and egg. So, yeah. We're going to make in gelatas with this. So, I will be right back. Okay, we have a little less than a quarter cup of onions. We're going to get it um, nice and sauteed till it's slightly translucent. And we're going to add in the ground beef. The onions are translucent enough, so we're adding in our ground beef. We're going to get this ground up. The meat is 95% done. We're going to put in our enchilada seasoning. So, let me see if I can get this to focus. Oh, let's see. So, it's three carbs per serving, and there's about eight servings in here. So looking at this, we're going to get way more than eight enchiladas. So we'll be pretty good with the carbs with this. So that's why I'm using this whole packet. So I'm going to use this and get it stirred around and we'll be right back. I've added some enchilada sauce to it. And the sauce is only, um, what does it say? Two carbs for a quarter cup. So I'm going to mix this around and get it all mixed together. And we're going to start trying to assemble everything. Okay, I got my little casserole dish ready. It has some of the sauce in it. So, the um, cauliflower thins are super thin. I don't know how you, you can see just how thin they are. So, I'm going to do my best to wrap some of the meat in here with some cheese and get them placed neatly inside of here. So this is going to be kind of a messy job, so I will be right back. 
Okay. I was able to get 12 enchiladas into this pan using the cauliflower crepes. So I am going to give these a calculation of at least one and a half to two carbs a piece because the cheese will have some carbs and the crepes didn't have any. The sauce has a little bit. So that's safe side too. But I also had some meat left over. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but these are ready to go into the oven at 350 until the cheese is melted. And then we're on to our next um, item. Next up, pork chops. And they are going to actually go into my air fryer. So let's get this going. All right, the pork chops are in. And we're going to set the timer and let them cook for about 20 minutes. Next up is the cube steak. So it's quite a bit of it. So I'm going to use part of it. I'm going to cut it up really fine and probably saute it in a pan with some butter, um, mushrooms, and a little bit of onion. And the rest of it, I don't know, it might just go in the oven. So I will be back. Okay, here's my meat cut up with the onion. So I'm going to get this into a pan right now. All right, here is the rest of the meat. This is going to go into the oven at 350 and cook. And I'm debating if I want to put some barbecue sauce on it or leave it the way it is. We'll see. Here are the pork chops. Oh my God, aren't they just lovely? Okay, and here is my other um, meat that I sauteed in the pan. This is the meat that I cook inside of the oven. And here they are, the enchiladas. Okay, this was for fun. These are walnuts, candied walnuts. And the reason for that, and I know everyone has been doing a lot of candied pecans. These walnuts were old as dirt. And I think the only way to salvage them was to candy them and where they would have any type of flavor. So here these are. Okay, everyone, I am here to kind of wrap everything up. Um, it was a good meal prep. Um, weekend. Like I said, I am ready for the week. Um, I will have two fasting days, which my fasting days are Sunday and Wednesday. And since this is a new program, I'm hesitant to change anything right now until I kind of get into the groove of it and get used to it. Um, so what I plan to do on Wednesday, since that is my regular blogging day, is to... Um, incorporate other things. So you can stay tuned for Wednesday. I'm going to still try to keep it interesting and fun. Not me sitting here eating fat and you watching me eat the fat. So um, for Wednesday's video, I will be talking about other things and I will be talking about this little jar here, which is my probiotic water. And it's almost ready. I started um, pulling it together on, I want to say, Wednesday. So it will be ready tomorrow. I just keep it in a closet um, in the dark. Um, the next thing I will be talking about is I'm thinking about give, doing a giveaway. And the giveaway would be some smart treats. So, um, yeah. Stay on the lookout for that. So you want to come back on Wednesday so you hear about the giveaway if you're into the smart treats. And um, I'll be talking about how I make the smart, not smart water, but my probiotic water. And um, giving you a rundown of how things have been with me so far with the change in the macros and all of that. So I, I don't want to forget to show you my last meal. And it is salmon and it has some butter and MCT oil in it 
And that's going to complete my full day of eating for you guys. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I really appreciate you so much for stopping by and watching me on my journey and just, you know, following me and coming along with me. So I'm going to wrap it all up and you guys are just wonderful. And I will see you back for another full day of eating on Wednesday. Bye-bye.